So what's the best cellular camera out there on the market today? Um, there's a ton of options out there. Um, you know, everybody's offering something just a little bit different. You know, everyone's saying that their camera is the best, um, you know, for whatever reason. Um, and there's really just a lot of information to kind of wade through to figure out which cameras you should be buying. Um, you know, for a lot of people, you know, maybe you've already, uh, you know, kind of invested in a, a certain brand and that may make the decision for you. Uh, to stick with that you know specific camera but especially for those of you that haven't uh, kind of got into the cellular trail camera game yet um, you know this is a big decision um, so I think really actually what's better than the, the question of what is the best camera is what camera should you actually buy um, I mean if you see right here in front of me obviously my opinion is you should be buying spy point and I'm going to kind of tell you why. So I've been running SpyPoint for a good many years now. Um, before they ever made uh, cell cameras, um, I was using SpyPoint. At that point in time, I had kind of uh, a lot of different brands of cameras. Um, and they all, you know, uh, worked to varying levels. Um, SpyPoint, at the time did not offer the best images but they were very reliable when it came time to choose a cellular trail cam um, there wasn't nearly as many options that's on the market today but um, with my history with the uh, spy point um, you know just being very uh, very consistent in the pictures that they were taking you know that was one of my first options and some of the you know quote unquote uh, you know higher quality brands I had actually had really bad experiences with um, so I decided that the first camera I was gonna try was spy point and beyond just the quality of the camera one of the reasons um, I went with spy point um, is the cost of the plans so and I think this is really the biggest reason why you should go with spy point. Um, and I'll get to that a little bit later. So the lineup that I have here is the Link Micro, the Flex, which isn't the most recent version of the Flex, and the Flex S, you know, with the, the solar built in. Um, this would have been my first uh, really kind of going all in on cell cameras with was, was this camera right here um, I'm not off the top of my head I'm not even sure how many of these I have um, I run a ton of cell cameras these have been very reliable um, and just running them with lithium double-a batteries um, I can say on average I probably get six months um, without having to change batteries. That's on average, that's not, that's not, uh, you know, the case. There's a lot that goes into that, you know, how many pictures it's taken, etc. You know, what kind of uh, service you're getting at that spot. Um, but six months would be the average. The Flex, I bought a few of these last year. Um, and kind of the, the big upgrade for these cameras, um, at least for me, I guess there was two things really. Uh, so one, was that it has a dual sim so before i would purchase these cameras you know i had a number of them uh, with verizon and then i had a number of them with at&t um, and you know depending on where i was setting them up i might need to use a different camera with these it has a dual sim so it works with both verizon and at&t towers so um these have been really great for getting service when I'm setting them up. Um, and then the second big upgrade for these, um, kind of the annoying thing with these is uh, the older ones. If you need to update the firmware, uh, you would have to go pull the SIM. Uh, you would have to take it back to your computer, uh, format the card, upload the new firmware onto the card, and then go put it back into the camera. 
and hope that you did it correctly. Um, it's really not that big of a deal, but um, you know, it's a process that you have to go through. When the Flex came out, they kind of uh, eliminated that. So you have a format button uh, right here on the camera and you just click and hold that and it formats your card for you. In addition to that, if you need to update the firmware while this camera is in the field, you can do that directly from the app. Um, so, and then the next time it communicates, it just sends the firmware through. So, super convenient. Um, and then the Spy Point Flex S, um, you know, is an upgrade from this, and then it is also incorporating uh, the solar panel and also this new line of flex um, you know there's some other updates um, as far as you know the quality of the pictures etc uh, so there's a few different things that was upgraded with this um, these solar panels so I have I have the solar versions with the flex and the link micros um, and so far <clears throat> the solar options have been great so with the micros the solar ones have been in the field for over a year without me needing to change batteries. So it comes with a, uh, I believe it's the uh, Lit 10. Um, it's a lithium battery pack. So you're not actually putting AA batteries in the solar version. It's a little battery pack, rechargeable. You throw it in there and the solar panel has kept them charged. Um, so I believe out of all the solars that I have out um, there's only one that hadn't lasted an entire year um, and again when it died it was simply pulling the battery pack bringing it back in recharging it and then replacing that uh, the following day so you know there was no there was no going out and buying batteries um, so batteries is another thing so this takes the lit 10 battery pack um, the flexes they take the lit 22 I would definitely recommend getting these I think the last time I looked uh, lithium double-a batteries so these take eight double-a uh, batteries they were right around 25 bucks um, which is crazy um, the other thing with lithium double-a batteries is I've found them that they're really hit or miss they work great compared to your standard double-a batteries however um, I don't know if there's cheap batteries out there on the market from China or something um, but sometimes I will stick those batteries in a camera and they're dead like within a day or two um, so it's not the camera you know it's it's the batteries so you know you might be tossing 25 bucks down the drain uh, when you buy those lithium double A batteries. The Lit 22 or the Lit 10, if you have an older camera, would already be paying for itself um, by the time you had to replace your second set of batteries if you were just going with st standard double A. So I would definitely recommend getting the uh, lithium battery packs. Um, for the newer solar cameras, I don't have long term numbers on you know how long it's going to last. Um, I also have the Lit. 22 um, battery packs in here um, so this actually has the solar panel it has an internal battery and then I have the lit 22 um, I've had it out for a month and really there's been no change in the battery um, I've I read some comments online uh, about the battery life and these new solar uh, flexes and basically just saying that you know they don't the battery doesn't last at all um, has not been my experience I think a lot of that is how you set it up uh, so this camera in particular has an option that the other cameras doesn't and it's an instant uh, version or an instant mode so you can set this up where at any point in time you can just go into your app and it'll take a picture uh, instantly um, 
So in order to do that, this always has to be communicating. Um, so where normally these cameras would only be communicating when you set them up to. So you can set them up to do it on, uh, you know, certain time of day, a certain number of times a day, or after each uh, photo. So I've always done each photo, um, just so you're getting that instant feedback uh, when something is there. Um, this takes it, the, the instant mode takes it a step further where you can see at any time uh, what is there, regardless if, you know, the camera was actually triggered or not. Um, so that that constant communication is going to eat up more battery. Uh, so that could be one reason why some people are complaining about battery life with this as well. Uh, the other thing is just, you know, how many pictures are you taking at a time? Um, what is your delay? Um, all those things are going to kind of feed into the battery life. Um, I'm not a person that needs to get, uh, you know, a thousand pictures a day. I really don't want to, I don't have a time, I don't have a time to look at a thousand pictures a day. Um, and when you're running as many cameras as I am, uh, the pictures can really start to add up. So I have it more set on, uh, you know, one or two pictures, um, generally speaking, um, with, uh, you know, maybe a 30 second delay. Um, also where I have them set up, you know, I don't have them set up at spots where, um, let's say some people might have them set up, uh, like on a mineral site or a bait pile. So number one, I live in Pennsylvania, that's illegal. Um, so I'm not going to do that. But the other thing is, yeah, that's a great way to see what's in the area, but it's not really giving you good information as far as where deer are moving, when are they moving, which is what I think is exceptionally, these uh, cameras do exceptionally well. So I don't have that. And that's, that's a spot where you can just get endless pictures. Um, and a situation like that, you're going to run into battery life issues probably. So that's kind of a rundown on the cameras a little bit. Um, I have had a few issues in the past. I'm running a lot of cameras, so I, it's just natural that you're going to get some issues. Um, but when I've talked to customer service, uh, you know, it's been helpful. I just had an issue uh, with one of these uh, cameras here. Um, and generally speaking, once my cameras reach a certain age, I'm really not too concerned with it. I've kind of gotten my money's worth out of them. Um, a lot of times I would just throw a camera out. But I went ahead and called on this camera just to see if there was something they could do. Um, and they were able to help me out. They went ahead and uh, replaced the camera with a new one. Um, this camera wasn't actually available, so uh, they actually uh, upgraded me. So very helpful. Um, I called in and talked to somebody right away, so I would definitely recommend calling if you're able. Everything with these cameras can be controlled from the app. Uh, the app is super easy to use. Um, they have filters within the app where, um, you know, you can look for human activity, bucks, turkeys, uh, you know, kind of whatever you want to filter it by. Um, they also have uh, favorites so you can, uh, you know, quickly, um, you know, kind of minimize your list. Like if you have a certain buck you're looking for um, and you every time you get a picture of him, you mark him as your favorite. Uh, so when you go back into your app, uh, you hit favorites and there's your whole list uh, of every time, you know, you've gotten a picture of that buck. So super easy to use um, I like to number or name my cameras once I get them um, so that I can know where they're at when I set a camera um, for instance this is flex 24 so this is number 24 um, I will mark this in my on X maps when I mark when I set this camera so these cameras, they're obviously great for, uh, 
you know, monitoring your, uh, your trails, um, etc. you know, whatever you want to do. Um, but as a property owner, I also use these for security. Um, I use these, I have a, a long driveway, um, back to our, our residence. It's about a half mile long. Um, so, you know, I have cameras set up to see who is, you know, coming and going. I have cameras set up on property lines uh, to see if I have any trespassers. Um, and when I have these cameras set up to send uh, the photos, as soon as they, uh, you know, as soon as the camera is triggered, um, it really enables me to get after any trespassers that I um, do have issues with. Um, so, you know, if I didn't have a cell camera, um, let's assume that they didn't steal the camera. They didn't see the camera. They didn't steal it. Um, you know, it may be weeks or months later until I realized that I had somebody, um, you know, trespassing. With these, uh, I'm getting that instant uh, notification that, hey, someone is out here. I need to go get after them. Um, so the number one reason why I think these cameras, not not any specific camera in the spy point lineup, but just any camera out of the spy point lineup is the camera that you should buy. Um, it comes down to cost. So the first thing is the actual cost of the cameras. Compared to some of the other companies out there, these are very, very affordable. There's some other brands that have similar price points, but these are very affordable. So beyond the cost of the cameras themselves is the cost of the cellular plans. That's a huge, huge financial commitment. Um, and you're probably going to end up getting more money running cell tra trail cameras uh, in the actual plans themselves than you do the camera. So I am someone that likes to buy something. You know, I'll spend money for quality, but I hate reoccurring cost um, you know maybe that's just dumb maybe that's just me but you know I hate uh, monthly payments um, you know I want to spend my money and be done with it so I did a quick search of different uh, trail cameras what their monthly costs were um, for their cellular plans um, so don't quote me on these numbers uh, you know these aren't uh, perfect. This is 2023. Um, so I found anywhere from five dollars uh, clear up to eighty dollars uh, per month for these cellular plans. Um, so and there's a there's a big uh, you know variety there and what that includes from five dollars to eighty dollars. Um, you know there's plans that you know will you might be able to get a hundred photos. Um, and there's plans where you can get unlimited photos um, and they might be uh, HD photos. So with Spy Point, when you buy this camera, you automatically, without buying a plan, you get a hundred free photos a month. Without ever spending any more money beyond this camera, you get a hundred free photos. Um, so that's what I actually started out with. Um, and because I don't have these set up on bait piles, etc., or taking, you know, 10 pictures each time it's triggered, um, a lot of these, you know, I could actually get by with 100 photos a month. So my plan was to run them on uh, 100 free photos a month, and then as, you know, the season has changed, uh, the rut, I could, you know, pay for a uh, better plan during the rut um, or you know if I had specific cameras that were getting um, a lot more pictures I could spend that money on those cameras specifically um, but again you know I'm, I'm not going to give the number of cameras that I'm running but it is a lot um, and so if I was going to even just spend money on plans during the rut it could get expensive so the cool thing I found with Spy Point was uh, beyond the 100 free photos is they also have um, something called the Insiders Club. Um, I 
quickly kind of did a little read over of what all that included and I signed up. So it's $99.99 a year. So 100 bucks a year to be in this club. Um, I believe you get some discounts with this club um, for accessories, cameras, etc. Um, I don't think I've ever used it. Um, I may have bought some batteries or something with that discount, but generally speaking, you can find a sale on these cameras um, where you don't necessarily need uh, to spend $100 uh, a year to get a discount. But the big thing that you get with the Insiders Club is you go from 100 free pictures per camera every month to 250. So for 100 bucks a year, um, you are getting 3,000 pictures for every camera that you have. Um, so, you know, you got 10 cameras, you're getting 30,000 uh, pictures. Um, you know, it's really, really a great deal, especially if you have a number of cameras. Um, you know, if you're running uh, one or two or three cameras, you'd kind of have to look at the numbers, I guess. Um, maybe the Insider Club really wouldn't be that great of a deal just to get to the 250 um, and it might um, But if you're running a number of cameras uh, It's definitely a great deal and it's gonna save you uh, a lot of money um, So the number one reason you should be buying these cameras is the cost of the cellular plans in my opinion if you're not worried about the um, cost of that at all um, that's great. Um, congratulations. Um, you know, pick whatever camera you want um, and you can spend the money on the uh, plans. Um, but in reality, uh, even if you get past the, uh, the cost of the plans, you might still end up with Spot Point. Um, honestly, I haven't used many of the other brands of cellular trail cameras. Um, so I can't really speak to the quality of those, um, but I can't get to that point um, when I'm looking at how much it's going to cost me every month to run those cameras. So uh, if you're someone that wants to run a number of cameras, Spy Point, hands down, it's the way to go. Um, you know, I see comments about uh, people having issues. I think when you have the sheer volume of cameras that this company sells, it's inevitable that you're gonna have some issues. Um, call into customer support, um, they're gonna help you out. Um, at least they have for me. Um, so if you're on the fence about whether or not to um, get a cell camera, you know, pick one of these ones up. Uh, there's a couple other, um, I think it's the LM2 maybe. Um, I saw a sale just the other week. It had two LM2s, which if it's not this camera, it's very similar to this camera. Um, two of them for 60 bucks. I mean, you can't beat that. Um, so if you just want to try it out, uh, wait for a deal like that. Uh, pick one of these cheap cameras up and then just go with the uh, free uh, 100 pictures a month. And just see how it does for you. I think you're going to end up impressed with these. Um, so I appreciate you watching this review. Uh, if you've got to this point in the video, if you got any questions, uh, feel free to shoot me a comment. I'll get back to you. Um, you know, I'll do some reviews like this from time to time, but we got a whole bunch of other stuff going on in our channel. Um, really appreciate if you subscribe. Um, our channel, what's our channel? Poe Family Homestead. Yep, Poe Family Homestead. Go ahead and subscribe. Like this video if you can. Appreciate you watching. Thanks.